minute. Yeah, it certainly does. Uh, a lot more in the class out there. I tell you what, uh, Kenny Baines' car with the, the Topolino body looks fantastic with the old style, the old school flames all over it. Uh, really suits the little Topolino. But then again, you look at uh, Lee Podge's car and uh, Code's car with the uh, flames all over them too, the different style. And then the real retro style there of Jason Grayling's body. What's that, a 35 Ford or something? Uh, that's a, a 34 Ford. That's a Ford 10. Uh, American. Right. So these uh, cars, ladies and gentlemen, are mini miners and uh, Daihatsus and Hondas on steroids. Flag is held high. They've been given a green and now one. Donald and Smith going with Walston Croft coming underneath and then it's Kay trying to break his nose from the inside. Uh, car number 63 coming through the center of the pack there, 63 at the moment. Sean Dunhaven, here we go, starting to sort it out now. There's still McDonald out in front of a Wilson drop. Roger in 51, chasing very hard. Kenny Bain is running fast. Uh, the 
Let's do a Walsh out in front, followed by Grayland in 14. Now Rod Smith for Hoven and Marth having a good dig at the end of the field here at the moment as we go through in third. Marth goes up high, gives the Hoven a chance to get one. Picking the bird in the drag race down the back straight. Car number 32 coming through, which is Sean Walsh with uh, Jason Grayland in second position. Rod Smith going through then to Behoven there in car number 18. Very hard of Alex Barth bringing up the rear. But now coming around with one. Look at the race leader, Sean Walsh. Number 32, Jason Grayland in car number 14. Car number 14 in the blue is Rod Smith, followed by Adam Behoven. Race leader coming out of turn three into turn four now is Sean Wood. It's steep coming off the tyres there as he comes through. Jason Grayland in second position. Rod Smith will take out third out of Behoven and a drag. So Behoven just loses it and Alex Barth gets a position up right on the last corner. After a little bit of an eventful go there for the uh, V8 Super Rods. Just having a look out at the track here. These uh, four cars will bring out an extra tractor just to help the cars uh, get them running. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get a few of them back out onto the track. Maybe car number six and maybe six and three. They uh, can't see you. Got it on the boot inside. Reed tucked away in the pocket. Umpire had a look at it. Said he was inside the field of play. Good. Backwards to Terry. There might be a reason why, but it works out okay in the end. But cutting the marks, 25 metres out, pull that 30 metres out, lining up for goal number four. He's proved to be a handy little small forward, Chris. He has arguably been the best player on the ground, and he works so hard. Greg Broughton is a good player. He likes to get his hands on the ball. He didn't go to Cunningham quick enough to cut off the lead. It was a bad defensive act by him. Cunningham will kick this. It'll be his fourth arguably the best player on the ground. Coming up for disposal number seven to match his number on the Keno stat sheet. Cunningham for four goals has kicked it. And if there was any possible chance of the Gold Coast Suns mounting a comeback, I reckon Harry Cunningham's completely stumped that one out now. Three goals. And Sydney move along now. Nine minutes gone, 34 points is the lead. 14-5-89, the Gold Coast Suns, 7-3-55. And that's a sign of a great forward line, different avenues to goal. You know, you can play against Sydney. We've got Glitz covered, we've got Tippett covered, we've got Franklin covered. Then Cunningham pops up and kicks goals. Or Parker pops up and kicks goals. Or they slide one of the midfielders forward like a McGlynn and he kicks goals. They've got lots of different choices to make in the structure of their forward line. And they will structure it according to the defence of the opposition. Just over 20,000 people here, so a very good turn-up on the Gold Coast for the Suns and the Swans. AFL Live, thanks to Mackers and the TAC. Smith wins another tap. Ablett sends it forward. Almost the mark today. He didn't complete it, though. Good tackle by Swallow. All spills out the back door. Ablett's on the end of it again from 52 metres out. The kick's on line. before they get that little car off the track. We're going to close the hole in the wall, close Jeff's gates, and we can get on with our meeting. Starting to cool down considerably now, ladies and gentlemen. Just looking at the uh, clock, it's just gone 5.30.